Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Create Above and Beyond, episode 10. Glad you could join us today. Uh, before we get started, do not forget to hit the like button, and if you're not subscribed already, make sure you guys hit that uh, subscribe button and hit that bell notification to get notified when new videos are released. Uh, with that said and done, I have been working on a few things just to kind of spiff up the little top here, um, where all our machines are, and we're pretty much where we're pretty much staying. Um, uh, we don't really, we have that little place down there, but we've been kind of living up here. So I thought I'd just throw some of this, uh, flint down here. I just did some cutting. There's not too many patterns. There's a regular flint block. There's a pillar pattern. This is the top of the pillar. And then there's also flint tiles. And I thought I'd just like eh, put something down, but you also might see that we have a forge. Um, so this is the tinkers. I think it's called the tinkers forge or smeltery. Sorry, not forge smeltery. And I went and got some lava and I filled some lava up. I, not, I have not touched this whatsoever. So I, <clears throat> nothing, did nothing. Uh, I think this is not going to work. I don't know why I placed that there. I need a shoot, I do believe, uh, which I do have a shoot. And we can place that into there. And that should fix. So you might have an idea of what we're going to be working on today. <laughs> uh, we're going to be working on tinkers. Um, so there's going to be a few things. We're going to upgrade our crafting table to the tinkers. Now, I kind of forgot that the tinkers table is way better than the, <laughs> the regular Minecraft table. I wish I would have remembered that there is a tinkers table, crafting uh, table. Um, so I think... I think this is this a regular crafting station. Probably not. It's not probably not like a crafting bench or a crafting table. It's probably for tinkers. What isn't there like another one where you just take the you actually take this guy. Oh, he's he's on the move. And you just throw him in here. No, nope, I'm thinking of something else then. Uh, maybe it's a different mod pack, but uh, whatever. Uh, but today we're going to be getting into tinkers. I want to produce some steel. Uh, so that we can get some better gear, I should say. Um, better pickaxe and whatnot. Because we don't have diamonds right now. And steel pickaxes are a lot better. And I think I mentioned this in the last episode. And we want to go with something. Uh, we can do some combination of things. And if we're going to be doing some mining, I want to get in some hammer, do, get into a hammer. Um, or a sledgehammer, is that what it's called? Yeah, sledgehammer. Um, strictly because the sledgehammers allow you to... Uh, mine out a larger area at a time. And I think that would be a little bit more beneficial than the way we've been going. And now that we have iron being produced, and if you missed the last episode, go back and watch that. We are producing iron here. Uh, so we're just taking cobblestone, process it through a millstone, which is then being washed, which I did not fix. I didn't fix this yet. Um, and then coming down here and then being compacted uh, once there's enough in here. Oh, there's a fish in there for some reason. So I'm going to take everything out of there. Weird. Now, I've been trying to figure out what the best way of sorting things out. And I got a comment from um, Elysium. I think is his name on YouTube. And he pointed out that this mod pack does have drawers. So we can type in at storage drawers and we have oak drawers. Now they're not the standard way of crafting them. They are changed a little bit. We do have uh, oak trim that converts into them. So we, this is kind of formatted for crate. <laughs> so it seems like everything in here has been modified. Like they take like all the other mod packs and like modified what, um, how to create everything. This is actually really easy. We do have zinc ingots and it's just a regular trap, uh, or sorry, a chest. I just saw a trap chest, uh, a regular chest. And that will create us four oak trims. And from the oak trims, we can create any kind of door, um, or drawer, sorry, a four, uh, a single, uh, or a, a half, which is just going to store only four stacks per drawer. Uh, and we can also do an upgrade temple or template. And then we can upgrade these as well if we need to, to, you know, to, to higher standards. Um, is there anything crazy here? So get to get a key, it's a golden nugget, 
uh, two gold ingots. Nothing seems super crazy here. So if we want to go up to 16 times emerald, uh, four times. So that's cool. Um, so this will give us the ability to lock the drawers and then sort. So we can actually pull items off, say, like a conveyor here, but I only want one specific item. We can actually have an andesite tunnel. And that can be pointed to a drawer that holds only one kind of uh, kind item. So that's the way I think we're going to be sorting it. Thank you uh, to uh, Elysium. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, I really appreciate it. I had I I didn't even think of that. <laughs> it's that's such an awesome idea for this because that kind of changes a lot of things. Um, I wish I kind of had that knowledge before I did a lot of this stuff because. I think I would have changed a lot of what I did. Um, for sure, for sure. Um, I do want to clean up some of these machines because some of these machines are really long. They're longer than they should, or they're just, they're not as compact as I'd like them to be. Like, this is just a little out of hand here. Um, we don't really need all of, you know, to have a chest and two andesite tunnel or tunnels here. So I think at some point in time in between episodes, I will probably clean things up um, like this, too. We don't need all of this space here for um, for the lava. So we just actually stop it right here. Um, so, yeah. So let's get to working. We got the lava already in here, so we're good to go. Um, the, both of the fuel tanks are full. Uh, so we do have a little bit of room in here yet we could fill up. I think this is, that's an ingot tank, so we can add add more ingots in there. Um, but what we want to try to do first is get our uh, crafting station, our tinker station, and our parts builder. So let's go ahead and get this created. So this is just a standard, pro, or a standard setup here for a pattern. I'm going to add that to the list here. Um, so let's grab that. And then, sorry, I just sneezed. <laughs> um, oh, I already have some wood here. And we'll just convert that all. There we go. Perfect. Let's go ahead and create some patterns here. I think I'm going to create quite a few. Like so. Perfect. Now, the next thing would be, uh, let's do the crafting station. So it's just a, a regular crafting station. I think this is the, I think this is like a crafting station, like what I'm thinking of, <laughs> I hope. Because I really don't like this uh, crafting bench at all. So we throw that on top. So hopefully, yes, yes, sweet. That is what I'm thinking of. Nice. Um, we do wanna probably set this up a in a different spot. I think we'll set this up. Um, we'll set it up over here. How about that? Because uh, I do want to keep storage over here. Uh, I've been grinding down cobblestone here to uh, um, to uh, gravel, so that we could get uh, what we were working over there. I can't remember. Can't remember what we were working on. Okay, but we do have crafting station here. Uh, let's see here. We've got, we can cross that off the list, a tinker station. So let's create that right away. And then a parts builder, we can do that right away. So I can't remember which direction we want. I, yeah, I think we have, we'll do it in that direction there. I guess it doesn't really matter. We have these tabs at the top here that we can always flip through. Uh, so let's get rid of those for the time being. I will probably sit, go around and try to, I think maybe in between episodes, we'll get these sorted out so that I'm only grabbing andesite. And then the other stuff, I might, I might actually set up like a void so that we void the rest of the stuff off into the la la land, you know, who knows? Okay. Um, first things first. Let's get some iron because we're gonna or some steel. And the way we do that 
is we need to go through the blast furnace. Is this full? No. Oh, that was stuck there. Uh, we're actually going to put our iron through here, and hopefully this will turn it to steel. Turn to steel. There we go. Perfect. And there we go. We have steel. Um, so we'll let that go, and then we'll put it in the smelter. And we do need to get some patterns going as well. So we're going to have to get a couple patterns. Did I create a pattern? I think I did. Are one of these a pattern? Yeah. No, oh, that's a parts builder. Oh, that might be it. That's that's exactly what we need. All right. Um, and then we'll use cobble for the time being. Uh, this will work out the best. Findings. Um, we do want to do a repair kit as well. Uh, should probably do axe head. A tough handle. <laughs> we'll do a repair kit. I think that's going to be of what other or what kind of item that we're using. I think that's going to be it for right now. Um, we should probably get a chest. And we'll put the chest right here and then we'll put extra stuff in there. Cool. Um, and now we need some gold. I hope I have gold. We have gold sheets. We can melt down. Let me go see if we got some gold down here. Um, we want to make some patterns, so we need a few. Ouch. I didn't think I was going to hurt. Let's see here. Come on. You got to have some gold. Crushed nickel. Ouch. I have a gold nugget. <laughs> I have no gold. No. Oh, man. That actually really sucks. Uh, can we... Actually, I want to kind of pull those off. Those enchants off if I can. So, I'm not going to take those, but... I think I'm going to have to go do some mining. Unfortunately to go find some gold. Kind of sucks. Because uh, if I'd known I didn't have any gold, I would have done this beforehand. Let me just double check here. No gold. No gold. No gold. No gold. Shoot. Okay. Um. Well, that's a thing. Let's grab another chest if I can. And we'll go place these parts next to uh, right here so I don't lose them. And I'm going to have to make myself a pickaxe, which I don't have the iron any longer. Is there any iron in here? There's some iron. Perfect. Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold the phone. We've got gold. <laughs> uh, let's, let's throw half a stack in here. Actually, I don't even think I need a half a stack. I, I don't know how much it take, how much you need per, but oh, perfect. Uh, we'll start off with the picks, the the pickaxe. I think. What does it take for the pick? We need uh, a tool handle and a tool binding. Do I not need... Um, I thought I needed the chute. Do I not need the chute? Am I just crazy? Input and output. Uh, I think... Uh-oh. Did it fall in there? Oh, no. I have it right there. What am I thinking? Um. Okay, let's try putting this back. It's been, it's been a little bit. I don't remember. <laughs> it, it's not that. I oh, Come on. Come on. I got to remember this. Uh, let me get the, I, I swear it was a shoot, but. Uh, seared duct. Oh, these are items. It would be duct. Uh, seared drain. That's what we want. 
I'm a dummy. Okay, so do we have... We should have everything we need for the drain. Oops. I uh, just need two copper ingots. I know I got copper somewhere here. Where? Where? There you are. One, two. Perfect. Alright, we're on our way now. <laughs> oh, man. Sometimes. Sometimes I wonder about my, my sanity. It's slipping. Okay, we've got the pickaxe head. Um, we need the tool handle, and we also need that as well. So, put the tool handle in there. Bada bing, bada boom, and then the bindings. Sweet. Um, let's go ahead and do the rest of these. Why we have the gold in there. We have four ingots left. And, oh, we have four ingots. I want to know how much we use. So it's ingot eight each. That's fine. Sweet. Okay, so we got all the ones we need. Um, We need to go and grab our steel now. I think that's all the steel we've got. We can throw that in here. Um, I'm thinking we should probably... Let's just throw half in here. Hopefully that will be enough for what we need. Um, I'm not 100% sure. Let's see. Steel. Uh, steel, steel, steel. So if we do like a steel pickaxe, like through and through, as ductile, I don't know what that means, as piercing damage, durability times one, it does have some attributes, right? Or three upgrades, so we can upgrade it a little bit. So we can add some durability. I just got to remember, I might have to make the book because I don't remember a lot of this stuff. But that is just straight up a steel pickaxe. And I think that's going to be probably the cheapest thing we can do right away. So let's grab pickaxe head. Uh, maybe we'll just do the tool handle with wood. And then the bindings. We'll th what can we do with the bindings? Uh, we should really go do the book. <laughs> Um, the only problem is I don't know if I have leather. I have leather. Do, 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 do. I don't see any leather. Let's go check down here real quick. Um, let me let me just go create the book real quick. And I'll be right back. Right, there we go. There's our book. Let's uh take a look here. Tools. So I know that there's... Uh, okay, so repairing your tools, important things to do. Okay, we do need an anvil. Uh, the repair tool. I'm going to have to figure out how to repair using that. I think you need whatever level you're at. So we're going to need some steel ones. Uh, and that will repair our tool. Okay, so this is just kind of like a really, really basic guide. I thought this was the full... Oh, no, here we go. Um, flint, bone, wood is times one. See, the string was something that I wanted to add. This is extra, no stats, stringy. We do want... We do want to be able to add um, uh, silk touch. I gotta sleep. So I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to see how we can add silk touch to this.
So I think I'm just going to do wood, and I just need some kind of tool binding. So you can do like a vine, string. I think stringing... Yeah, you can use, you can use string to repair. Um, tool no longer takes double or more damage from certain actions. Not sure if that's really. Don't really care about that. Uh, tool deals bonus damage when attacking through armor. Tool mines faster as it wears out, but does less damage. See, I don't really. Yeah, that would not be a bad idea. Tool periodically grows more materials when repairing. Okay, we'll we'll do the wood tool. Practically grows more materials when repairing. Interesting. Um, yeah, I'm not sure exactly what we'll use for bindings. Doesn't really help me at all. I think we'll do is we'll because this is not the full list. We're gonna do a wood handle. Piercing, jagged. Let's see here. Uh, every point of action. Decrease mining speed. We don't want that. And we don't have that. Okay. Well, we'll grab. I don't think I have very much string, so I don't want to get into that. Do, 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 do. I wonder if you can do uh, andesite, al oh, al andesite alloy. Um, probably not. No, that's not not in there at all. Okay, we'll just do wood for the handle. No, we'll just do steel. <laughs> I think I think I just 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 figured just let's just do steel. We'll do uh, steel for the binding, and then we need a tool handle of steel as well. <clears throat> Let's just make it easy. Uh, we'll throw the gold in here so that we have it. And let's put this together. Um, there we go. Perfect. Now, we can upgrade this with other items. I'm going to have to probably take a look at the book because I don't remember it. Um, but we do need a repair tool of some sort um, because I think, you know, after a while it's going to wear out. So can I use this to make repair tools? I think this is how you make it. So we'll make a couple of these and just have them on us. Um, so when we're doing mining and whatnot, I should probably make a shovel as well and maybe a sword. I'm not sure. What is a steel steel sword seven attack what's our current one six so actually it's not bad 1.6 attack speed it's actually a lot better oh no it's sorry it's um seven point oh it's actually pretty decent <laughs> all right um let's go ahead and make a sword then We need for a sword right here. Um, so we need a small blade, tool handle, two tool handles, and a small blade. I don't think I made a small blade. So we'll get that made. Do I have a small? No. Uh, let's switch this over to gold. Perfect. We have three ingots left. So one of those, and then just the tool handle. I think two of those, right? That is a tool handle, right? Yeah. And we're out of steel. Uh, let's just throw one more ingot in there.
I mean, we are creating more iron here. All right, I did grab all the steel out of there. I just want to make sure. <laughs> I don't want to go on anywhere. Perfect. Awesome. Uh, let's put that away. And we can get our sword built. Nice. Um, so we're going to have to look out for music discs, because I think those are an upgrade uh, for more slots, like more upgrades uh, slots. So if we see those, we're going to have to take them. Um, I think I'm going to leave the steel over here for the time being. And we'll keep the, we'll keep the iron with the iron pickaxe, but we'll drop the other stuff. Keep those. Let's go drop these things over here. Really? Can't take the one birch. Um, I do want the other book. I think I'm going to go and try to find this other Tinker's book. Just so I can remember what we need. <clears throat> Um, textbook for, uh, smelting, casting, alloy. Okay. We don't need that. Oddest new technology in molten metals. What if I do, oh, this is just all of them in one. A book. Maybe this is the one we want. With seared stone. I think seared stone was, oh, just seared. Okay, we have a seared ingot. Uh, we just need another book. Um, we can make a book with the straw, I think. Oh, I've got a book right here. Um, a canvas. We have, I think I have canvas here. Canvas. Uh, we can make paper with that. Boy, oh boy. Seriously? Uh, maybe I used up all the canvas. It's totally possible. Canvas is four. I'm one short. Um, where's my cowhide? I did throw it in here. There it is. Oh, there's a canvas. Right there. <laughs> uh, we'll use the canvas instead of the cowhide because we're probably going to need the cowhide for something sooner or later. That paper, right? Yeah. And then I think it was this and that. There we go. Book. And let's uh, let's go smelt this underneath here. A steel seared brick. Let me go ahead and do this, and I'll be right back with the book. All right, this is what I was looking for. So we made steel, which is actually really good. Um, so the ductile does tool is longer lasting, mines faster, and damages more. <laughs> so that's awesome. Um, so it's basically a really good addition. Uh, we could have done bronze. Tool mines faster when at higher durability. Hmm, that's not bad either. Now, the question is the upgrades. That is what I'm curious about, because I cannot remember how we end up doing that. Okay, so I think we just put it in there with these items. Two for one. Trades one ability slot for two upgrade slots. Um, luck. Unbreakable. The tool is now unbreakable. Single level requires... Okay, we are not going to be able to do that. Uh, that's pretty crazy. Silker skull uh, or shell. Dragon's breath. Netherite. That's going to be for a while. Uh, smelting. Dual wielding. Uh, that we don't need. Oh, what is this? 
Uh, mind blocks drop themselves. Silky cloth. Okay. Oh, we need to sleep or we spawn <laughs> zombies. Uh, that is something that we're probably going to create. Um, silky cloth. How do we go about doing that? So rose gold ingot and string. So we can smelt this with the induction smelter, gold and copper, but we don't have an induction smelter. Uh, what does it take to do this? I We might be able to actually make this. Um, and I think we can power this. I don't think we need energy, so to say. I think we can use power here. Hmm, or like burn something. I'm not 100% sure, but... Kind of what I'm thinking. Um, okay, so we got some upgraded tools. At some point in time, we will do the axe and the shovel, but right now we're not going to be doing that. Um, all right, I think that's kind of accomplished what I wanted to do with Tinkers for the time being, which is nice. Uh, let's take a look and see what we need to do next. Uh, we need to go and find... We need to do some exploring the Skystone Dust, which we need to go find a, a meteor. So that is going to be one thing. Uh, we did get this all taken care of. Um, now it's saying that we can melt um, the the ingots or these um, the the iron nuggets. I don't think we need to go ahead and do the. I, I'm. I'm Someone can someone tell me what this means? Contraption fifteen dash four. Is there like a book that I can look at the contraption they're talking about? Because that's kind of actually kind of confusing why it says that. So, but regardless, um, so we could either do this route here where we get a water supply, which we're gonna have to do at some point in time, and temporary sand. Initially, quartz, uh. Certus quartz seeds require sand to be crafted. However, for full automation, it might be worthwhile to bypass the requirement with the help of mechanical crafters. So a mechanical crafter is one of these guys. And that's going to take a brass machine, which is precision uh, mechanism two, which this is what we're trying to get to right? So we're not going to be able to do that yet. So why don't we go down this road here? At some point in time, we are going to have to do this manually, maybe. And this is just saying you could do it for the time being this way. But why don't we go and search for a Skystone? Now, apparently... Uh, you can just keep on pulverizing it. The Skystone block never seems to lose mass in the process. What uh, what a world we live in. So we need a meteor uh, compass right here. So let's make one of those. We need a, a charged Certus Quartz, which we have one. Why don't we grab... Pretty sure we have one. Where is our... Here we go. Andesite... Uh, let's leave the book up here. Or the books. Did I throw one in here? No. Uh, we'll go down here and actually create it. I think we have some. In, oh, we have one right here. Perfect. So let's. Oh, you know what I didn't create yet is an anvil. <laughs> Uh, we didn't create the, the anvil. That's okay. Well, we need more iron anyhow, and I'll make it out of iron. So. We'll wait until then. Sweet. Okay, so. This is going to point... I think... I've never actually used this. So, I think this is supposed to point to a meteorite when we get close.
I'm not 100% sure. So we'll have to do a little bit of exploring. Uh, what does it say about... Does it say anything? Um... Find Skystone blocks at a meteor crash site. If you don't, if you haven't had an encountered any, try looking for one using the meteorite compass. So, I'm assuming that if we get close to one, uh, it's gonna point. I was kind of hoping we actually are gonna be close to one, <laughs> um, but I don't think we can be that lucky, right? So let's go do a little bit of exploring. Hopefully, not die in the process. So, we could go... Oh, there's something up here. I wonder if we should go south. Let's, let's head south. I really should have brought a bed with. Uh, is there any beds in here? I wonder if we have any more villagers. I haven't seen any. We had... Uh, Pillagers come through here a bunch of times, and I wonder if it they killed off all the villagers. Yeah, there's like no villagers here now. That's a shame. Well, we got our go. We got a ghost town now. Uh, no bed, really. Oh, I see a purple bed right there. Let's see if any of them come out. Bring that along. Oh my gosh. I just missed a look. I missed looking at this. Cool. Um, yeah, we'll bring the bed just in case. Uh, at some point in time, we will need to go through the, uh, the portal. Yep. Nope. They're all, they all moved on. They all moved on. I must, they must have got upset because I didn't, um, oh, there's a blue bed. Um, I didn't save them from the pillagers, and so they probably got murdered. All right, so we're going to head south. We're going to go this way and see if we can't find a meteor. Or mete meteorite? Yeah, whatever. Um, you got, uh, we should have enough food for the journey. Hopefully not, like, super crazy far. Do I have any blocks? I don't have any blocks with me. I should probably grab something. Okay, let's, um, grab some dirt, just so I have something. I usually bring a, uh, stack of cobble. Just in case I need to throw something down. We might have to sleep for a night. I'm not sure exactly how long I'm going to be out here for. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure how this uh, this compass works in the first place. So. I only assume it works when we get closer. Is it spinning differently? No. I'm guessing we'd be able to see it on the map if there is one anyways. And I don't see anything so far. So we'll keep going. Um, that swan going to come attack me? Oh my god. They're very territorial. Okay, this is like the first time we're running this far away from base. Maybe we'll find something really cool. Oh, slime. Uh, yes, please. Oh, that's like... Wow, like running slime. Like, can we take a bucket of it? I can. Nice. What is a slime tree? 
I guess I'll take some of that as well. Oh, oh, we're, we've got something. We got something, folks. How close are we? Um, we're gonna have to place down a bed here. Sleep. Oh, what is this? Come on, sleep, please. All right, let me sleep and I'll be back. Hmm, there's this uh interesting ruins. Ooh. Sweet. There's a whole bunch of goodies in here. Lux crystals. Nice. Uh, make sure we're not losing track of what we're doing here. A sail frame? Huh. Skull. This, there's probably... You could probably go down here, but we're not what we're looking for. Oh, wow. Is that coinage? Oh yeah, three silver coins. It seems like it's pretty beneficial to go through these things. Random stuff. A string? Yeah, actually it is a bomb. You know, I haven't tried the bomb yet, so I have no idea what that does. Origin sapling? What? What in the world is that? Do we want meat? We haven't- I don't think we have meat yet. <laughs> we should probably get some biggie biggie. How far away from home are we? Oh, we're actually not. We're going to go to the snow biome. So that means we're going to get pretty lucky, it seems like. Um, I'm going to go see if I can find this. If anything interesting pops up, I will bring you guys back in. Okay, I've come across this little... I don't know what this is. Get some ice. It's kind of interesting. Uh, snow blocks. I don't know if those are going to be any usefulness for us. But we need to kind of go this way. So, Just thought I'd show you that. I don't know what that is all about. Maybe it's some kind of significance? Um, actually, I think we're here. <laughs> By looking at the trees. Oh yeah. <clears throat> we're here. Awesome. Alright, so... Be honest with you, I've never been here to do any of this, so we got some sky stone. I think, I think, I don't know. There's something at the center of here, and we need to get to it. I think it's something to do with the inscribers. I've done this once before a long time ago. And is there any other different stone? Um, I think maybe it's best to come from the top. Let's see here. Like, this would be the center, I think. Yep, here it is. I just missed it. Uh, so, sky stone. Yep, two presses. So, what can we get rid of here? Um, let's get rid of the iron pickaxe. We don't need that. Um, can we actually take this chest? Seems like it. Um, there's not really anything we can drop, though. Oh, we have gravel. We don't need the gravel. Gravel, stick. Um, I kind of want to keep that origin sapling because I have no idea what that is. 
Uh, but the inscribers, we're going to need those to create um, when we get to a, um, Applied Energetics 2. So I'm hoping I can keep this. Uh, where's it at? Sweet. Yeah, it's an A2. Nice. Um, now, it says that we can like use these forever, so hopefully we don't have to come back here. Um, but if we do, why don't we actually mark this on the map? Um, Skystone. There we go. Actually, this was like really close to the base. Um, so we just need to go east, right? Yeah. We just need to head out of here. Cool. That was easy enough. I thought this was going to be a little bit more of a, a hike, trying to figure out where this is at, but we got lucky. Good thing we don't have to, like, mine that and bring that all the way back home. Like, all that stuff. Wouldn't that suck if we had to? Probably going to have to. So let me run back to the base and I will be right back. All right, we're back. Um, now it says that we can actually, oh, we got a trader here. Um, let's actually take this. We'll put our inscriber. We'll put those in there. Oh, we have some emeralds. Uh, do you have anything good to trade for me? No. Um, I do want to set my spawn point there. Um, silky fern. So there's going to be some interesting things here that I have no idea. Um, we do have some pork. Why don't we cook up the pork? Um, put the emeralds in there. I guess we'll drop the other stuff in here. The bomb. We're gonna have to try that bomb out once. Picked that up once before. Um, we'll actually throw that in here. With a string in there. Okay, so if we take the sky stone and we stick one in here, it says that it will just like produce forever. Is that true? Move out of my way. Oh yeah, look at that. So it gave me back the sky stone. Okay. So we're going to need to use this to kind of repeat, rinse and repeat. So it brings it around. Um, I think we're going to need to build another millstone. Can we build... Let's see here. Okay, that will create the Valta Sky Solution. So we're going to need water. But we can build the Crusher. Okay, we can't do the Crusher until we have Mechanical Crafters, which is not yet. So we can we have to still mill. All right. Why don't we create another mill? Because I'm thinking we should probably create another... Uh, kind of like a loop. And then we'll use the the drawers to pull out the one item, but we'll just have it kind of running in a circle. You know what I'm saying? So it'll just drop the the same, maybe like five items, and it'll just go a loop around and then go back in, loop around, go back in, loop around, go back in. Shush up. <laughs> I hate those guys. I don't think I've ever bought anything good from them. He's going to drink his milk. Um, all right, let's put these, these away. Yes, leave me alone. You have nothing here that I care about. Nothing. Um, so let's grab everything we're going to need here. Let's grab some gearboxes. Um, do, 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 do. If I can find everything I need. Let me let me grab everything. Um, I think everything is kind of like spread out, which is not what I would like to have. But I like the shafts. Oh, there's that. 
the gears. I don't see the large gears. I only have two large gears, so I'm gonna probably gonna make some large gears. So let me let me craft some things and I'll be right back. Okay, right, I believe I got everything we need. Now I just need to pick a spot to do this. Um, I guess it. Uh, well, I guess it does matter because we're gonna need it for. We're gonna need to add on to it. So maybe what we'll do is start somewhere over here. Um, and then go that way with it. Um, actually, let's... <clears throat> I think we're going to have to pipe something out of here at some point in time. What are these? Uh, maybe we'll start somewhere in here. So this is basically just going to be a round robin. Uh, let's put this, let's kind of build it around here, um, because that's what's going to need to be going in. So we'll place that on top, we'll switch that around, and then, of course, we're going to have items coming out. Um, oh, I'm going to have to have that raised up. So let's put that up on a... Something like that. So like this and like that. And so it's just going to be around. Um, it's going to have to go further than that. So what can we... What's the height we have to go at? Or angle? Come on, tell me the angle. You're not helping me. There we go. Um, I think that's the angle. Yes. Perfect. Um, actually, that's too far. No, we can move this back. Because I think it's going to be too steep otherwise. Um, so we'll just... Shift this back one so that we can have that go that direction. That there, that there. There, and then there. And then we'll switch that out. Put that there. Cool. And then I climb up here. Uh, where? Okay, you went up there. <laughs> I was like, "Where'd you go?" Um, that's actually not exactly where I want it. But what we're gonna do is, if I do that, perfect. So that should fall into there. Nice. That will work very nicely, and then we'll just have a rotation, and then. At one of these spots, we'll have it... Oh. That should work. Um, and then what we'll do is have a chest. I don't have a chest on me. But we'll have a chest sitting here with an andesite tunnel. And then that will actually pull out the, the dust. Maybe I'll put it on the other side. Do I have a chest in here? I can make more chests. Here we go. Actually, I should probably do double chest on that one because it's going to take... We're going to have quite a bit of it. Do, 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 do. Um, let's move it over here. And the reason I'm thinking that that's going to be the ideal location for it is that then we can pull from it, go in that direction. Oh, I'm sorry. That's not what we want to do. Um, do I? Here's my axe. Let's go grab, let's go make one of those, um, thingamajigs. Oh, that's right. That sticks in there. 
Sweet. Let's make a drawer. Um, I think we're just going to make a single drawer because we're only going to be pulling one item out of here. And what that's going to require is an oak trim. And so let's just add that to the list. It's getting dark on us. Um, oh, I need zinc. Uh, I'm going to go to sleep here and then I'm going to go grab my zinc. We can get this all crafted. Okay, so I have this ready to do, but the only thing is it's asking for an oak oak planks. So what if I just do this? Grab my zinc. Is it going to allow me to do birch? It is. Let's make some of these. And I think then if we come over here, yes, then we can cut them. Um, so I just want a single oak drawer for this one. And we'll input the items into here. Perfect. Um, and we do have... Oh, we got to make a key for this as well. So there we go. Uh, so we need gold and a gold... Oh, we actually have gold over here. I think we needed a gold ingot, right? Uh, e. What about the other keys? Oh, it's going to need a... Concealment. Quantity key. That would be really nice to have a quantity key. Oh, they're actually both the same. I don't know what this curio key is for. Weird. Donkey spawn egg. Okay, <laughs> we're get, we're losing. Uh, I'm losing myself here. We need to put one of these drawers back in here and get an upgrade or trim, I should say. Perfect. And then we can make a key. Bada bing, bada boom. We will lock this baby up. And then we just need to hook this up. There, perfect. Man, this is this is awesome. This right here, <laughs> I can't believe that I missed this. Um, I'm actually thinking that I have an easy solution for that over there. I think so. Um, let me get this all hooked up, and I will be I'll be right back. All right, we got everything hooked up, and hopefully. We can start placing our sky stone here. And I'm not sure exactly how many I'm going to put on here, so... Maybe like that many? But that should... Now... Not go in the hopper? <laughs> <clears throat> oh, man. Um, why are you not going in the hopper? Is it just... Is it too high? Oh, man, that's too high. It needs to go down one more. Um, shoot. I did have to add some water wheels because we were stressing it out a little too much. Let's see if we can add or move this really quick. Well, I doubt it's going to be really quick. Okay, we can leave that there. We can just move this down one. There we go. And then can we just move that down one? I don't know if this is going to work because now that other one is going to be at a different level. This right here is going to be our issue. Oh. I didn't know I could do that. That's awesome. I learned something new. You can just click on the mechanical belt and it'll go up one. That is awesome. <laughs> um... So, question, how do I get to connect these things up? Because I can't just put one here, because then it's not going to, right? It's not going to work? Nope. Oh, crap. No, here, this will work. This will work. Um, yeah, so let's put this in here. 
what will happen is it just it, it should fall on right it should just fall on there no it's like throwing it <laughs> nope you know what then why couldn't we just do this <laughs> this is this is not gonna work i don't think but we'll see is it gonna like chuck it onto the other one? Oh, come on get over yes it works it works it works Sweet. All right, we'll just do a couple. And there we go. And so this should gain one, and then that should go forward. And then it should just keep on cycling. Nice. Look at that. Now, I think this only does it one at a time. So if we throw in a couple more here, is it really going to matter? Does it, because it doesn't do a stack or a couple at a time. But this is cool. That's awesome. I'm going to, I'm going to be doing some cleanup in between here. Like, like we're getting flint here. Well, I'll just set a thing over here to collect the flint. Um, and then we'll just have the iron because I don't want anything else besides iron going in there. It's just, I have like a garbage disposal. Uh, what's the void? What, what does it cost for the void upgrade? Obsidian? Oh, that's easy enough. And how many do we make? We only make one. Okay, so we can easily get obsidian. That's not a problem. Uh, I've got some uh, obsidian sources that are already down in the... Um, down in the caves. So I'll go get obsidian, and that would be that. Nice. That's... um. Thank you. Thank you for that... Um, <laughs> for that comment, because that is huge. I will probably make the key to show how the value here as well. It's just so we have an idea. And I will probably upgrade this as well. Cool. This is awesome. Little setup. It's really compact too. And then we could pull right out of this and take to wherever we need to. So the next thing we're going to need, let's just get rid of all this stuff because we're done with that. Um, oh, we can actually check this off. So we're done with that. Uh, the next thing would be to have a water supply. So, yeah, the easiest way is to pull from a water source directly using mechanical pumps and a fluid pump or fluid pipe network. So if we're going to be, I, I think this is going to be super simple um, because we can just make a water source wherever. Uh, so we just need a pipe and a pump. I'm not sure how the pump works for pulling out of water. So let's just look up pump. Is there a pump in here? Just as mechanical. So I'm wondering if we're going to need this Oculus accumulator. Which we can make. So maybe this is how we're going to get our water. Um, I'm not sure exactly how this works. If we just put it underwater, then we use the pump. Because I think this is only shown like pumping from place to place. And then we should... Um, Let's see here. How do we combine... Let's make the mixture. How do we make the mixture? So it looks like... We mix it first with water. So we'll have to get in the mixing. Okay, that's fine. And then we have the volatile sky solution, which then goes into a spout... Oh, well, we don't really need a bucket. Okay, and then that... Destabilized. So we need to mix that back then with a charged Certus um, Quart Crystal. Now, how do we make one of these? Okay, we don't really make them. Charged Certus Quartz is crafted... Uh, by inserting an uncharged Certus Quart crystal into a ch into the charger and powering it. Charged Certus Quartz can be found in the world ra se semi-rarely. It appears similar to normal. Um, okay. So we're going to have to charge it at some point in time. Hmm. 
Now, can we not make regular um, Certus Quartz? Let's see here. So we can make the pure Certus Quartz. I think that's a matter of... Yeah, we're going to be getting into that. Regular Certus Quartz, we can... Can we produce it? Oh, that's charged. I don't want charged. Oh, so it uncharges it when we go through the Volatile Sky, and we'll get it back, but uncharged. So how do we charge it, then? Into a charger. But that would require power, right? So we have... We can make this we have Fluix Crystals, which we found. So maybe we're going to have to start looking into getting some power. Which we do have... Oh, it's down there. I think we have that, the, the magma something or other. The magma... Magmatic Dynamo. And we can make one of these as well. So this would be our first little power. I can't remember. Okay, so it's lava that makes power. Um, is this the one where it does passive power if we just put uh, lava around it? Or do we have to feed it lava? If we have to feed it lava, then we have to figure out a source of creating lava. Um, is there any way of... So there's a magma crucible, which I know takes a long time. Or we can find these hellbark logs. And I'm guessing the Hellbark logs are going to probably be the end. Just a hunch. Or we can just do Superheat it, which might be our best bet. So we'd have to go into the Nether anyhow to grab a Blaze. What is a Blaze Cake? Blaze Cake is lava. That's it. So we just pump lava into it. How much is it? 250? Interesting. So we could take some of that, make it into blaze cake, feed it, have a higher production. Who knows? <laughs> I have no idea. Um, that's going to be for another day. But we we got a lot done, actually. I'm really surprised. Let's see how much we have. We have 35 already. So, um, yeah. All right. We. I don't. I don't know what's going to happen. I should probably get a void. And just void this out just in case we get a little bit too much because uh, what happens if it goes back in here? Does it spit it back out until, you know, it continues? I have no idea. So once that fills up, it might break. Who knows? All right, but um, I'm going to end the episode here. Thanks for watching. Glad you stopped in and spent some time with me. And um, I hope you enjoyed the episode. I had some fun here, learned some new things. And... Don't forget to hit the like button and also do not forget to subscribe if you are new here. Uh, most of my viewers are not subscribed, so uh, hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification so you're notified when the next video comes out. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Take care.